So basically we maximize the construction in order to bring a dilapidated building into what you see right now. This is the restaurant for all Iraqi officers or military Iraqi officers. We start five months ago with this project. The project consists to rehabilitate all the building, all construction inside and outside building to construct a new refrigerators and cooling systems, uh, rehabilitate all the sewer and lining pipes, all the tanks, all the roofs, exterior and interior walls, all finished floor slab. We supplied new windows, uh, new doors, all lighting system, fire electric system, and a new cooling, freestanding cooling system. That's all our work. Okay. We supply all the kitchen materials and washing basin materials. It's all it's new. Suspending ceiling according to all the specifications for the contract, if you'd like to know. Uh, we change some specification like the gas cylinder. We don't have it, if you like to see it, the gas cylinder. We don't have uh, butane in Iraq, we have a propane. After we discuss with the contractor, the main contractor, we change this specification. Okay. We put in service all the walkways, like you see, around the building. Okay. The new, new walkways, we supply all oil materials with it. Uh, we put on our cost uh, sunshade for the refrigerators, uh, new suspended ceiling for the kitchen, it was damage from the last attack. There is a lot, a lot of damage on this building. And it took you five months to fix it. Five months to rehabilitate the old building, the entire building. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, we're doing a, a turnover ceremony for two of the buildings that we're refurbishing on Fob Loyalty. Building 4 is the General's Headquarters, and Building 45, which we're standing outside of right now, is the DFAC. This is going to house the 1st Federal Police Brigade that uh, has responsibility for uh, Baghdad east of the Tigris River. The Corps of Engineers uh, awarded a construction contract to refurbish these buildings, um, chose the contractor, and oversaw, oversaw the construction operations as they were ongoing. We had uh, Iraqi engineers on site uh, monitoring the construction to make sure it was up to high standards of quality. The uh, First Federal Police Brigade is going to be based out of loyalty. They're going to be, the men are going to live in the high-rise apartments you see around us. Uh, the General's headquarters is going to house the General and that's, that'll be his, uh, you know, his office space. The DFAC will be where the, uh, where the troops eat. This is one of the first uh, buildings we had to uh, get ready and turn over before the uh, federal police could, could move in and fully commence operations. On the base, we're also working on the uh, operations center, which is the next building over from the DFAC and is not complete yet. The, uh, once the first federal police have a uh, strong base from which to uh, operate, they can uh, help with security measures around the uh, eastern uh, half of Baghdad. Once the, uh, once the first federal police is able to operate effectively and secure the eastern half of Baghdad, that'll remove the uh, necessity for us to be around helping with, uh, with security. Today we did a uh, final inspection with the first federal police at uh, Camp Loyalty. At Camp Loyalty, there's going to be the first federal police headquarters. Uh, we're opening up a new dining facility for them, an operations center, and then uh, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is going to build a separate location for the Iraqi counterterrorism organization. So today we were opening two of those buildings and we did the final inspection with their three uh, and their S-4 along with the contractor and U.S. Corps of Engineers to identify any issues uh, and make sure all the facilities functioned, electrical, water, sewage, the things that would allow them to, uh, to operate those buildings. Currently right now the, what's happening at, at Loyalty is there's actually a combined joint operations center between the 1st Federal Police uh, Division as well as the 2nd Brigade 10th Mountain Division. And we provide them enablers as, a, as we assist and partner with them uh, in their ongoing mission to provide security for the ISF. What we do is we've built this building or we've, we've uh, come together and built this joint building that they're going to be able to use their headquarters out of to help facilitate the operational control and administrative control of the division. We're finishing the dining facility to feed soldiers and then op obviously we're working on the operations center which will provide them the capability to command and control against uh, criminal activity, terrorist activity for both inside the city of Baghdad on the east side of the river as well as the first part of the Amanat down in Jesser Diyala. So together it will give us the capability to do a joint operations with us assist, assisting and enabling them by, with and through. Part of it is, is, we, is we give them the capabilities as they become stronger and they become more self-sufficient. These, these, the building, the, the building for the actual first federal police, it allows them to stand up on their own, to be more independent, to operate independently of us. And at that time, it gives them better capabilities to allow them to command and control. And so therefore, it allows us to then do less, start to downsize our forces, use less soldiers to assist and advise them, and allow us to eventually withdraw or draw down responsibly from Iraq.